all right you are welcome again today we want to talk about linear differential equation linear differential equation what does it mean you know we are talking about solution to differential equation and then when an equation is said to be linear how can we solve it let me show you if we have a differential equation that is in this form or we have a differential equation that we can arrange to be in this form look at it dy dx plus py equal to q let's call this equation one so where p and q are constant or function of x only it is called linear differential equation. We have dy dx plus py equal to q, where p and q are constant or function of x only. You get it? So this equation is called linear differential equation. Now, we said that this type of equation cannot be solved by direct integration. But it has been discovered that if this equation is multiplied by some factor called integrating factor. Now, what is this factor? E raised to power integral of P dx. So, when you multiply this equation by some factor, e raised to power integral of p dx the result or the resulting equation can be solved easily hello so when you multiply this equation by some factor the resulting equation can be solved easily i.e let me show you what i'm trying to say you know we have our equation dy dx plus py equal to q so multiplying this equation by some factor e raised to power integral of p dx that means we multiply both sides by this factor right good so that means we're going to have the exponential raised to power p dx multiplied by the left hand side we have dy dx plus py close bracket equal to we have the right hand side q multiplied by this factor e raised to power integral of p dx so as we multiply it like this i think we can go ahead and integrate this now integrating both sides with respect to x so the left hand side is going to be reduced to y e raised to power integral of p dx and then the right hand side remains the integral of q e raised to power integral of p dx dx that is we integrate the right hand side with respect to x the left hand side also with respect to x so but what the left hand side gives us is y e raised to power the integral of p dx you get it so let's call this equation two now the procedure in solving this type of equation is to begin by finding the integral p dx reduce it then substitute the reduced value in this equation two now let me show you what i'm trying to say so anytime or anywhere we have a linear differential equation what we are going to do is this we are going to compare it with this equation that we have dy dx plus py equal to q you get it now we bring out what we call integrating factor how can we bring out this integrating factor find your p identify your p so when you identify your p 
integrate this p with respect to x when you integrate this p with respect to x take the exponent of it that means you have the integral of p dx that is integrating p right good now taking the exponent of it gives you the exponent raised to power integral of p dx so this e raised to power integral of p dx is what we call the integrating factor so once you find your integrating factor just place it in this equation too so you are to master this equation two in your head okay it's very simple so equation two simply say y multiplied by the integrating factor is equal to the integral of q multiplied by the integrating factor dx that's just it as simple as this let's take a very good example so that you understand my explanation very well now let's take a look at this question solve the linear differential equation dy dx minus y cos x is equal to exponential sin x so we have this equation dy dx minus y cos x is equal to e raised to power sin x now looking at this very well we see that it is the same as our linear equation form that is dy dx plus py equal to q is that true so from this place comparing these two equations we can see that p is equal to minus cos x we can see that p is equal to minus cos x and then q is equal to e raised to power sign x now as we have figured out our p let's integrate this p with respect to x that means we say the integral of p dx so integrating this minus cos x is going to give us minus sin x it's going to give us minus sin x so the integrating factor if what is it we say e raised to power the integral of p dx and here we have solved and we obtain the integral of p dx so e raised to power what we have here now that means we are going to say e raised to power minus sin x all right good so our integrating factor here is e raised to power minus sin x so this is our integrating factor bringing it to equation 2 or oh, we simply say this integrating factor multiplied by y is equal to we have y integrating factor equal to the integral of q multiplied by integrating factor dx okay that is look at it look at it we have y integrating factor equal to the integral of q multiplied by integrating factor dx you get it right good so the left hand side we don't have much work okay so what is our integrating factor our integrating factor is e raised to power minus sin x that means you're going to have y times e raised to power minus sin x is equal to the integral of what is our q our q is e raised to power sin x then multiply by the integrating factor now and our it and our integrating factor is e raised to power minus sin x then we have the x so when we say e raised to power sin x multiply by e raised to power minus sin x what is it going to give us it's going to give us one you get it right good so here we have y multiplied by e raised to power minus sin x is equal to the integral of the x so integrate the right hand side going to have x plus c okay so here we have 
y multiplied by e raised to the power minus sin x is equal to x plus c. We want to make y the subject of formula. And then you discover that this e raised to the power minus sin x is the same thing as saying 1 all over e raised to the power sin x. Okay? Good. Now let's multiply both sides by e raised to the power sin x. So when we multiply both sides by e raised to the power sin x, that means we are going to have y is equal to e raised to the power sin x over bracket x plus c. So the solution to the differential equation dy dx minus y cos x equal to e raised to the power sin x. The solution gives us y is equal to x plus c in bracket e raised to the power sin x. All right. So we solve this using integrating factor. All right. Good. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Let's take more example with constant practice so that we understand very well. All right. Yes. Stay blessed.